Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my third update for my non makeup project pan. This is the first video that I believe I filmed in actually three weeks now and it feels so good to be sitting down and filming and to have like this weight lifted off of me. I don't feel like I have any other priorities in this moment and it feels so so good. So I just want to say a huge thank you for your patience over the past couple months where I haven't been uploading as frequently and I've definitely just been not as engaged as um, I would like to be with this community because my focus has been elsewhere. So I want to say a huge thank you for all of your understanding and I am so excited to kind of like refocus and be back into this space because this is a place that makes me so happy and I just genuinely have so much fun interacting with all of you. So Thank you, and yes, we're going to be talking about my non-makeup project pan. This is a project pan that I started back last August, kind of fell off, and we're back on track this year. I've been updating this project every other month, and so far I'm feeling pretty good about my progress. I don't have like a timeline in mind with this project. I kind of just want to have it as like a consistent project where I'm focusing on my non-makeup products. So any beauty product in any category that isn't makeup, I want to be focusing on something. I have, I think, six focus products, or maybe it's only five. <laughs> what do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five focus products that I'm working on in this project. And that's perfect for me because I can kind of give myself a balance of different categories. And I'm just making sure that things don't get neglected in my life. Let's just get on into all of the updates. I'm really excited to share with you. Actually, I have actually finished up two products. So let's just start with those because it's always fun to start it off on a good note. So the first item I said, I was gonna be like embarrassed if I didn't finish this by this update. This is the Hello Fab um, Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask by First Aid Beauty and it's totally gone. I actually used this up shortly after my last update. You can see, completely empty. And this feels so good because this was something that I was holding on to for absolutely years. I had this far too long in my life and it was a good enough face mask that I didn't want to declutter it and I had it too long that I didn't want to pass it off to anyone. And for some reason, I just didn't really feel like super compelled to reach for it. I had other masks that I prefer slash I'm pretty lazy when it comes to masking. So I just needed to like force myself to use it up because it was either going to get used up or was going to go in the trash in a handful of more years after I decided like it had been far too gone. And I, I would rather use things up if I can and enjoy them, especially things that I've spent my money on and, you know, invested time into already. So this feels really good. This was a really nice, just like balancing kind of mask. I didn't find it to be particularly deep cleansing or even overly nourishing, but my skin felt really nice and balanced and happy and rejuvenated when I used it and I did enjoy it. So um, as much as I did enjoy it, I don't think it's something that I would repurchase, but I really liked using it and I'm really, really happy that I got it completely used up actually by this point because it had been in this project for quite some time. So this feels really, really good. And the other empty is actually one that I just rolled in last update. This is the Way Leave-In Conditioner. This was a deluxe size sample that came in a Sephora, like 500 point perk with um, Way products in it. And it was relatively new. It was a product that I had used maybe a handful of times just prior to rolling it into this project so that I could kind of be a little bit familiar with it and just to understand that it was something that I wanted to pan because I had actually just rolled out a leave-in conditioner as well. So it was at this point right here and it's completely used up. I've been using this every single time that I wash my hair, even some days when I don't wash my hair and you know, my roots get greasy, but my ends get a little bit more dry on those days. So I would run this through the ends and I flew through this. Like, um, as you can see, there's a tiny little bit of product right here at the top, which I know seems weird, but I had it sitting on my countertop like this so that I could try to get every last little bit of product out of here. And I just can't reach that little bit. And this plastic's a bit too thick that I don't feel comfortable trying to cut into it. So I'll just rinse this out. And that way I can recycle it a little bit better because it'll be nice and clean. But I'm surprised I used this so fast considering that the other leave-in conditioner took me so long, but this was just a mini size. So that's why I was able to work my way through it. And it does feel good to have it gone because I had it in my life for years and I had never even touched it. So this is feeling really good. I have only one leave-in conditioner in my collection and it's about this size as well. It came in a Briogeo 500 point perk long ago. 
And so I'm not going to put that into this project simply because that's the only product in this category and it'll probably take me about the same amount of time as this one. But yeah, that feels so good because only a few months ago I had three leave-in conditioners and now I'm down to one and I have a hair oil as well. So I'm feeling way better, way, way better about that kind of category in my life. Now let's talk about the other hair care product that's by way that is... It's a running fail in this project for me. This is the Way Dry Texture Foam. I think I used this maybe twice since my last update and I keep saying to myself, I'm gonna get better. I'm gonna make sure that I use this more frequently. I'm gonna make sure that I use it basically every time that I put like do my hair and I just haven't been doing my hair. Like the handful of times that I filmed over the past few months, I did my hair on those days and I reached for this probably a third of those times. And otherwise, I've just been so fixated on school that um, I haven't been doing my hair. So yes, the progress on this is so minimal, but now I do feel like I have more brain space to think about these things and to be able to really invest some of my energy into the products that I'm trying to focus on in a way that I haven't felt like I was capable of doing over the past couple months. It was kind of like survival mode for some things, honestly. I just haven't had the energy or the desire to like put my energy into something like this, but that is gonna be remedied. I really, really, really wanna get that used up, especially while my hair's long, cause I'm planning on hopefully cutting my hair like August or September of this year. I wanna chop it all off. And so I wanna use that up while it's long so that I can really optimize the texturizing properties of it. But yeah, for the time being, it has been, uh, really, really neglected. And that's what I'm trying to avoid doing with this project, but I'm gonna get better about it for sure for the next update, which is in two months. And I think I can use it probably like 15 or 20 times in the next two months. And that will be a massive improvement over how I've used it throughout the entirety of this project. And then I have two other products left here. I know I'm so rambly, but this is the Pixi Glow Tonic Exfoliating Toner. This is just a mini. This is a 40 ml, I believe. Yeah, 40 ml bottle. I've had this now in my life for almost two full years because I purchased this when I was going to Europe back in 2019. I went in June 2019. And I'm really happy with the amount of progress that I have been making over this past couple months. So I rolled it in uh, in my first update of this project and I was all the way up here. Like I had hardly used this even though I've had this in my life since 2019 because I did have a full size of this that I ended up kind of focusing my energy on and I also have very comparable product from Derma E. And um, so this just kind of went right to the back of my drawer, totally forgotten about. And then um, by my next update, I was down to here and I have made really steady progress. You can see the markings are nearly even. I'd say maybe a little bit less progress this update versus the first update that I shared this in. But it's pretty much on par with how it had been before. I'll definitely have it done by my next update though. There's no doubt about that. This will be this will be done. And I can't wait because I still have the Derma E one and I cannot, I cannot have this product living in my life for two full years because it's 40 freaking mils of product. How, how do I, do I still have this? And then the last product is one that I rolled in in my last update as well. So this is the Derma E Vitamin C Concentrated Serum. This is really nice. I have been using this pretty much every single day underneath of my daytime moisturizer or sunscreen. I have been using moisturizer a little bit less frequently actually in the mornings because I bought two Super Goop sunscreens and I don't like the way that either of them feel on my skin. I feel like they're a little bit too heavy. So I've been opting to just not put moisturizer on and then use those exclusively. And this sits really nice under both of those. And this just feels really like a great barrier on my skin, very protective. And I really do enjoy it. It does smell like Fruit Loops, which I love. It smells really, really good, even though I know that fragrance isn't for everyone. So just keep that in mind. But I've made really great progress by being so consistent with reaching for this. So as you can see in the past two months, I've made a lot, a lot of progress. I'm really happy about that because I have other vitamin C's in my collection that I need to kind of get moving on. And I want to just kind of roll them into the same kind of role and use them in the same sort of way. So once I work my way through this, I'm just going to kind of move something else into its place and use it 
almost exactly the same way. I may put another vitamin C into this project by my next update because this will be done for sure by my next update, but we shall see. But I'm really happy with that progress because I had had this for I think a year and a half or maybe even more. Oh my gosh, there's a cat hair on it. And I had only used this much because I was so inconsistent with reaching for it and I really wasn't prioritizing it. And this feels good. Two months. I made a lot of freaking progress and I'm so happy with that. But I am going to be rolling in two new products seeing as I finished up the face mask and the leave-in conditioner. And one of them is actually a combo product. So it's actually three little travel size little testers of Pinrose fragrances. I ordered this Good Intentions kit. I still have the packaging because I wanted to be able to refer to like what the notes are in each of the products. But I bought this last year during the VIB sale, which I believe last year it actually was in May. It wasn't in April like it was just this past year. But in May, I purchased this and I haven't yet finished off any of these. And there was eight cents in here. What is... What? Why? They're so tiny. And so I pulled the three that I think are like my least favorite. Just in case, you know, as the summer rolls around, hopefully things start opening up here more. Maybe if I get to go out to a patio, I can wear something that I feel a little bit more confident in. And these I can use up while I'm at home by myself. These don't smell bad. They're just not my most favorite and they don't feel the most like me. So there are three scents here that I want to use up. I'm just gonna like combo these and consider these as one product because there's very little left in any of them. Like these two are half full and then this one has maybe a quarter of it in it. So the first one I have here is Merry Maker and um, it is Nectarine, Plum and Tonka Bean. This is my favorite out of these three. I find that it's a really beautiful dimensional fragrance. I find that I really like that sweetness of the Nectarine with that more Tonka I find is like kind of masculine and I really like that combination. As you can see, I've, I've used quite a bit of it, but it isn't my absolute favorite. Like it just doesn't really feel like me. That sweet, fruity kind of scent is not my preference usually. I like something a bit more citrusy. And then the next one I have here is Lil Dipper. I think this is probably my least favorite of these. This is Peony, Lavender, and Sandalwood. And the reason why this is my least favorite is because I'm just not a floral kind of person. And I do like the combination of the sandalwood in here, actually. I like more woody, kind of earthy scents and that like musky kind of scent. Those are definitely what I lean to with citruses. And so the florals in this really are not my favorite, but I actually really enjoy layering this with other fragrances. And then the last one I have here is Wild Child. This one is Gardenia, Jasmine, and Plumeria. Again, really high on the floral kind of vibe, floral fruity. And I do feel like it's a little bit too feminine, a little too soft for my preferences. I like something that's just a little bit heavier and a little bit more rich, you know? And yeah, it's just, it's just not my vibe. But I don't dislike any of them. Like I think they all actually are really nice scent profiles and really nice scent combinations. So I wanna use them up. I don't wanna just, you know, forget that they cease, <laughs> like forget that they exist in my collection and just kind of let them fall by the wayside. But oh my gosh, I haven't finished any of these and I've had these for a freaking year. And that's just insane because how much product is in each of them? One and a half mils. <laughs> so I want to work my way through those over the next two months. I'm going to focus in and use those. Lastly, this is again, something that I'm just really bad at neglecting and I definitely marked it incorrectly too. This is the Ordinary Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG. And this is for the under eyes. I actually marked it down here, but it's actually up here. So I'm gonna have to just rub that off with some rubbing alcohol and remark it. But I'm only down to here. And I've had this in my life again, almost two years. I believe I bought this. I looked on my Sephora app earlier. I believe I bought this in July of 2019. And I haven't even used half of it. And I was so stoked for this. Like I was so excited, like caffeine for my under eyes. It sounds awesome. It'll really help to brighten them and maybe even tighten my fine lines. And I have just not used this consistently enough to be able to see any sort of results from it. And I oftentimes forget about it because it's an extra step. But as I said, I feel like I have a little bit more brain space, a little bit more room in my head to be able to focus and really prioritize things that have been being neglected. So I wanna roll this in and see how much progress I can make on this product in the next little while. I gotta get it used up. I've had this for so, so long. 
And I honestly don't even know how I feel about it. Like I, I used it a handful of times, obviously enough to, you know, make some progress on it, but I've used it so inconsistently that I really don't know how it feels. It, it sits well under makeup, um, but I haven't seen like long-term effects from it because I just reach for it like on the off chance that I just kind of remember in the morning when I'm getting ready. I'll be like, oh yeah, I should probably reach for that. And then like two weeks later, I'll be like, oh yeah, I should probably, I should probably try that again. And so I haven't noticed like the long-term benefits of it in any way, shape or form, but I am looking forward to hopefully getting to know this product a little bit better in the, in the coming months. But that is gonna be everything for my non-makeup project pan. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all the items that I'm gonna be rolling in and all the items that I've used up and the things that I'm making progress on. Slow but steady progress, but I am really happy with where I'm at with this project. I didn't really know when I was getting into it like what it could become for me, but now I just think this is a really great way to rotate through items in my collection and ensure that I'm always consistently using up things that are not my absolute favorites. Like things that are still good, things I'm happy to have, but you know, I can get them used up and I still have my favorites in my collection and I won't feel like an immediate need to go out and buy something new in its place because I still have something that I prefer over it. Like with these fragrances, I still have the remaining five fragrances, which are my preferences out of this set. I also have two full size fragrances in my collection as well. So there's no reason why when I use these up, I need to get something new in my life, but why hold on to these? But if I don't wrap this up now, I could just sit here and make conversation with myself over nothing, but that's gonna be everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.